epilogue, Queen Kong. whether they spent enough on the script for this movie. It seems to be all just special effects. Hmm? Is it intermission yet? I was hoping for something nice and sticky on a stick. The only thing sticky around here is this finale. Get on with it! Look, I'm afraid... Leave that alone. It's not for the likes of you. Aha, a broom. I've heard of the theory behind them, of course, but there's usually bylaws against apprentice wizards using them. I'd best leave it alone. Granny might get jealous. Pretty Polly. Ask away. That's better. Now, can I have the flying broom, please? No. Right. There, see? It doesn't hurt to follow the correct forms. Now, if you don't mind, it looks like I'll have to get busy going on a silly quest to wrinkle the wretched thing out of you. You can swap minds with this raven, can you? Yes. I'm very good at it. I'll go on. You can't possibly manage to put all your knowledge and experience into that tiny little avian brain. <laughs> Of course I can. Just watch. What a clever woman. Clever, yet oddly dumb. Bladders! Get your bladders here! Only a groat apiece, and even then I'm cutting my own throat. Bladders? Are you taking the pi- Bladders? Bladders, my friend. A rustic forerunner of the more familiar rubber balloon, as enjoyed by children. This is absolutely true. Who says computers aren't educational? 
We've got sheep bladders, vole bladders, moose bladders. You want a bladder? I'm your man. You know, I believe you. You can do other things besides blow them up, you know. Oh, dozens of uses a good bladder. Although, right now, I admit I can only think of uh, one or two. Uh, well, uh, one, really. All right. I'd like to buy some bladders, please. Certainly, Squire. Now then, what sort? We've got your rat, your vole, that's the field vole, meadow vole, and the killer clatchian vole. The killer vole? Oh, yeah. You know the ones. Six feet long, covered in poisonous spines, with incisors like chisel blades. But I thought voles were sweet little things, you know, small and brown and covered with fur. Not these ones, sir. Take your arm off in an instant. They've levelled old continents. Obliterated ships filled with puppies, baby kittens and innocent nuns. Wait a minute. These look like sheep bladders. It comes to something when a poor sheep is finding its essential organs floating around as kiddies balloons. Sheep, sir? Never, sir. Catch me arming sweet little creatures with curly wool and big brown eyes? Nah, not on my life. Cut me own throat if I tell a lie. These have been taken from clatchy and voles. A life form so foul, sir, so venomous, so putrid and psychotic that the hunters, sir, the hunters were all awarded medals for services to humanity. Clatchy and voles is like rabid sharks on legs, sir. Oh, well, that's all right then. In that case, give me some of them. Right you are, squire. I just hope they had time to go to the lavatory first, though. Bladders! Get your bladders here! Supposed to rest in peace, you know. Run! It's a falling giant woman! And that's another thing. In my day, girls were sweet, demure little thing. Not 60 foot tall monsters like you apparently get now. And I'm also pretty sure that in my day, they all actually wore something under. Sometime later. So. It's you at last, is it? So where do you think you've been? Sorry, it's been a bit of a confusing week. Confusing? I've been undead since half past ten on Tuesday morning. I mean, I wouldn't complain, but I lost 17 pence just on blowfish since I died. You'd think the afterlife would be cheaper, wouldn't you? Well, I've said sorry, haven't I? Come on, let's have a curry before we go. My treat. Ah, well, all right, uh, uh, he's rather decent of you. By the way, I tried strangulation, drowning, poison, traffic accidents. I even listened to improvised jazz music. But that just made me wish I was dead. Or that the musicians were dead at any rate. How did I finally manage to go? You got sat on by a giant elven queen. Now there's one I never thought of trying. Still, if you gotta go... There's a place you're always welcome That's as nice as it can be Everyone can get in, cause it's absolutely free. That's death. No need to take a breath. Just lie around all day, with not a single bill to pay. Hooray, that's death. 
no more sicknesses or flu. If you've lived beyond your means, you can die beyond them too. Boo hoo. Well, the greatest and the finest mm, have already died. Why not simply join them on the other side? That's death. Say farewell to all your bills. Rip up all your wills. And pop your final pills. Amen. That's death. It's a tater tate with fate. If you're not feeling great, then it's the best way to lose weight, mate. Nothing here to hurt you. No one's here to nag. Come die with me if your life's a drag. 